Hello. I have recently learned how to solve uh, DCube 7. During my learning process, I was left rather dissatisfied with the tutorials uh, provided on YouTube. Uh, DCube 7 is uh, quite complex and the logic has to be carefully explained. I shall attempt to do that and uh, uh, show all the possible arrangements you might need to know and how to uh, bend them to your own needs. Um, for this tutorial you will only really need to know how to solve the classic 3x3 Rubik's Cube and of course to own a VCube 7 as well as a pair of hands and at least one eye. Alright, so let's get going with the process now. Here is a scrambled VCube 7. Uh, it is solved much like a standard 3x3 Rubik's Cube by making a cross and then fitting in the edges and the corners. Um, first we shall make the 5x5 five five, uh, center after which we'll add 5x1 five uh, edges uh, after fixing all of the centers and after fixing all of the edges we shall fix the corners. So this is the process. Um, let's get going. Okay, so uh, let us start with a 5x5. Five five. Uh, they can be solved in any order, however, I generally start with the black center first. Much like on the 3x3, three three, uh, you will uh, identify the center color by the piece here in the middle. They do not move, they are stationary. Uh, so, okay, let's get going. First we need to form a 2x1 line here. Uh, to do this we just search for a piece that is that can form uh, one of these parts. So, here is one of them, here is another. So we can just do this. And we got a 2x1 line. After this we need to fit in another 2x1 line here. So we have to form it. We would need a corner piece, well, a corner center, and a corner and the center edge. Here is a corner for the center and an edge for the center. We can combine them by doing this now. We cannot do any damage if we do not move anything on this part, so it's safe. And we move it up. We make a little square here and put in another 2x1 line here. So let us form another 2x1 line to put it in. Here is a corner center and an edge center. So let us combine them here and put them. We got a 2x3 uh, rectangle now. And to complete a squ in the square here, we need to put in a 3x1 line. Let us do that. Here is a a center corner and a center edge. To, wh when we move it in now, we damage the top. So let us move it out, the result out of the way, and put this back in to uh, leave no, dam no, no damage. We might have to repeat the procedure because here is the piece we need. But if we move it, we damage this part here. So let us do that. We put it up, we move it away, and we fix the damage. And now just put this in. Now we repeat the process with the outer center. Uh, here we need to put on a 3x3 three three line. Let us do so. We often have completed parts here, so here is two, so I just need one piece here. Let us search for uh, part for it. Here, for example. Again. Okay, guys. So we have completed the 3x3 three three square, and now we can move on to the 3x1 line here and then 4x1 here. So let's start with the 3x1. 
Uh, for that we will require an outer center edge piece and two ones to put it around it. So here's one and here's the other. Now I have a three by one line which we can put in. And now as for four by one, I'll just do that. Uh, Okay, so here is a almost ready piece. Oh, never mind. Here. And now we have uh, put it in carefully, so it's uh, not like that, but like that. So it forms a square. It doesn't protrude anywhere. And another for by one piece will go here now. Okay. And the last part is five by one piece here. This might get slightly complex as all of them will now interfere with my progress here. Uh, so let's pull this one over. It spoils the progress. I move it away. Pull this back up. And again, I pull this one down, but it messes up the progress here, so I fix it again, and this time. <coughs> well, now. Alright, and last piece. Right there, one piece complete, put it in. We have now layer uh, one center one completed took the liberty of finishing the second center without you, because it's exactly the same as the first one. Uh, I shall do the third one now, because some difficulties might arise here. So I already got the 2 by one solved. You'll probably be able to do it anyway, it's no problem. Uh, so let's put in another 2 by one which is solved here. And uh, fit it in. However, now, by pulling it down, I did damage to the black side, you see. So, I move it over, and pull it back up. Now let's put in another 2 by one piece. Here is one, ed one corner, here is one edge. Let's combine them. But again, I have just damaged the black side. Not good. So I'll move over, like this, and pull the black side back down, while keeping the blue piece, you see. Uh, now let's fit it in. Now it's fit in, and the black side is damaged again. Move over, and do. And here comes the slightly tricky part. So let's combine a 3 by one again. Here is a piece. Um, and here is another piece. And again, I damage red side, so I have the damage. Now, if I do it the blunt way, by simply fitting this in here,